found it quite an interesting stand here now with the Sullivan tractor here behind me. And with me now is Colin Devan, the sales manager of DNS Machinery, who are the importers of these Sullivan tractors. So Colin, can you just tell me a bit about these Sullivan tractors? Not many people might have heard of them here. No, you're dead right. Not, they're not like a, a widely known brand. Um, we've been bringing them into Ireland for the past eight years. Uh, they're Indian, manufactured in India. One of the biggest tractor manufacturers in the world, producing over 100,000 units a year. Um, they're at a different end to the market, to what you see around here. Their smallest tractor is a 20 horsepower one, and the biggest one is a 90. So a different end to the market to the, to the larger tractors you see here today, but one of the tr biggest tractor manufacturers in the world, which not a lot of people know. This is strange, but has been much market interest for these tractors in Ireland. Over the past two, three years, it has been incredible that the market interest as I said, we're at a different end to the market and we're kind of targeting equestrian centres, looking to kind of put a harrow on the back and a harrow a sand arena, a front loader, a bit of front loader work, kind of mucking out a shed. Maybe a, a farmer that might have one or two big tractors and looking for a small utility tractor to kind of muck out sheds and kind of do a, sm a few small jobs uh, around what, where the bigger tractor isn't needed. A small tractor, 26 horsepower is ideal for it. So obviously these tractors have been on the smaller end of the scale, will be on the smaller end of the budget. Can you just give us a price range of sort of from the top end to the bottom end of what we can expect for a Sullis tractor? The top end, uh, Sullis 90, 90 horsepower tractor, four wheel drive with a shuttle. You're looking at 40,000, including the VAT. Yeah. Um, and then the more popular Sullis 26, you're looking at 12,500, including the VAT for a Sullis 26. So you're going from 12,500 up to roughly 40,000. That's quite, that's quite a reasonable price now in this, obviously the cost of everything going up and to be quite, I suppose a more basic tractor which they wouldn't have all the expensive GPS stuff on. So they are kind of a budget friendly tractor you'd say. Absolutely, yeah, no, they are budget friendly um, and that's what's selling them for us is, is they are value for money. Um, and that's the, one of the main reasons they're selling in the Irish market. As you said, they don't have the ad blue, they don't have the electronics, they're simple machines, reliable machines, but budget machines at the same time. Just speaking on that front of reliability, with obviously the global supply chain issues and getting parts, is it hard to get parts into Ireland for a tractor? It's not a traditional brand, whereas a lot of you like your Massey's and your John Deere's would be parts supplies would be much, much bigger. So have you any problems getting parts all the way in from India or is this no, quite simple? Thankfully, over the past couple of years with all the disruption, no, we've been okay. In Dublin, we do stock a lot of, stock a lot of spare parts, a lot of the common parts for these tractors. Um, any parts we don't have, we can pull from their European um, warehouse, which is located in Germany. Um, and that's in collaboration with Janmar, so they have a big warehouse there and we can get parts in overnight from their European warehouse in, in Germany. And looking forward, looking to the future, what is the future for Solus tractors? Is it going to be another dealer into Ireland or are they just going to more concentrate with yourselves? No, no, we, as I said, we've been bringing them into Ireland for the past eight years. Yeah. Uh, we have a dealer network around Ireland. We have seven dealers around Ireland um, who, who are selling, selling them to the end user. Um, so, no, we're based in Dublin. We have a dealer network around Ireland and the future for Solis is um, no more models of tractors. Um, a 120 horsepower tractor is, is in the pipeline, which we hope to see next year. Um, they have a new Solis 90 coming out in the early stages of next year. Um, but no new, new models of tractors com coming onto the market. That, that's the future. Absolutely. And you said these are more aimed at your equestrian, maybe golf course and all that. So compact little tractors and easy to use? Easy to use, absolutely. Um, as I said, some of the Solis 26s have a hydrostatic transmission, yeah. so very easy to use, uh, especially with front loader work where you're in tight sheds um, and the, the hydrostatic transmission comes into his own. Um, very easy to, easy to use machines, as I said, no electronics on them, very easy to use, to look after, to service. So, um, no. Easy, easy machines to look after. Absolutely. Well, we might see more of these Solis tractors appearing in fields and yards around the country. But Colin, thanks, thanks very much for your time. No, and I hope you've got me. Thank you for calling to the stand. And uh, no, looking forward to the few days ahead. Thank you.